Hey there folks, it's me the Tactical Brit, and Hell at Loose's Update 7 is very much nearly here, but today they've released a blog post of over 24 minutes of different animations and changes that have been made to the game for Update 7. Now for a long time now, I've been calling this the largest ever update to Hell Let Loose and something that's going to propel this game into AAA standards of quality in terms of a World War II shooter. I stand by that statement and today I want to show you guys everything that's been revealed in this 24 minutes of animation gameplay. I've cut down the gameplay into the super important parts and also the stuff that I think is super cool as well in the upcoming update and we're going to chat about it and dive into those specific sections so you guys don't have to watch a whole half an hour long video. For those of you who are unaware, Update 7 features is a whole overhaul of both first person and third person animations as well as loads of new bonus additions to the game that they haven't really revealed. Some of them are revealed in this video and the first one here is a new MP40 skin which has been retextured and re-optimized but also really impressively it now means that most if not all of the weapons including the sleeves and hands of characters will have a dynamic mud, blood and weather such as snow system or rain for each individual weapon. So that means if you dive on into the dirt your weapon and hands and sleeves leaves will get muddy, if you're shot it will get bloody, and if of course it's snowing on the map it will get snowy and frosty. This is a really cool introduction to the game and something I would liken akin to Battlefield 5. They've also updated all of the hand models and some of them will include gloves as well for winter based maps and they've used photorealistic scans to achieve what they've done on screen. The biggest overhaul to basic animations in this game is that everything has now been blended together seamlessly. The developers no longer want animations to feel static and blocky, and if you've ever played Hell Let Loose before, you'll know there's times like where you aim down your sight or where you're moving with the weapon in your hands, that things just don't feel connected. That's been completely overhauled now. There's also static and idle animations where your character will just mess around with your gun, and those are instantly cancelled when you aim down sight or fire on an opponent. But what's really impressive about all of this is that it all comes together. No animation is now separated and singular, so whether you're running around and the weapon's like bouncing around in your hands, or you're aiming down sight, or you're leaning, or anything in between. The first person animations will respond and react according to what you're doing. So if you're running around, you'll notice that the camera of the weapon and the actual weapon itself is shaking around a little bit in the first person perspective to add a level of weight to the gun. If you're leaning, you'll notice that the lean transition is smooth now. If you're aiming down sight, the ADS transition is smooth. Every Everything has received an animation pass, and that's super impressive and brings everything to a full cohesive level. This is widely one of my biggest flaws of Hell Let Loose that has been completely solved in Update 7. I should also note here that transitions between stances have also addressed this too, so you'll no longer have this just sort of weird uh, jank weapon movement where your gun will just sort of reposition itself randomly on screen. When you go into crouch and prone now, there is a seamless transition with the weapon in your hands and what you're doing. So it's no longer just this huge blocky disconnect between what you're doing and what happens with the weapon. There is actually a seamless full-time transition, again, very much similar to games like Battlefield 5 and AAA standards of animations that you guys are probably used to. The systems in game continue to get better, you guys are getting a first glimpse at the redesigned Foy map which has huge new layers of micro cover and terrain and, and all sorts of war torn scenery, it looks fantastic. Uh, but what's really important here is the sprinting animations and walking animations are now procedural animations and something also with the mantle system that I'll explain later, but effectively there is no just one looping animation over and over again. The animations happen based on what's happening around you, so you aren't just going to get the same running animation in all situations. It's going to change, it's procedural based, uh, I would presume it's procedural based on the terrain you're running on. They didn't exactly specify how it works, but what you need to know is it's a procedural system, there's no longer a fixed animation for running, it's very much different. Onto the mantling system, and again this is a huge part of Hell Let Loose, this is now a complete smooth and completely done system. For those of you who currently play Hell Let Loose or are unaware, sometimes you have to almost look at the thing you're vaulting over, and then you'll do this really janky animation. Now in Hell Let Loose, whenever you run towards something, whenever you're approaching it at any given angle, you can vault and pull yourself over the object quickly and smoothly. You no longer have to work about looking at specific parts of the object you want to vault over, it's entirely omnidirectional. You can run up to it, you can walk up to it, whatever you do at any different pace, there'll be a specific animation that plays. It's all momentum based as well, so if you're sprinting up to a fence and you jump over it from any given angle, it will be a quick and succinct animation, and if you're walking it will be a slower, slightly pull-up animation. So a momentum based mantling system, but also something that's now completely been overhauled to not be so janky, so you can now run and jump over things massively quick 
quickly and this is really going to improve the pacing of the game i can count on my hands the hundreds and thousands of times i've had engagements where people get stuck because they can't mantle something correctly or they can't hop over a wall properly and that's all gone from the game now a smooth system that will allow you to get into cover faster and will also allow you to move between objectives and places quicker an incredible new change as well is that the recoil system in Hell at Loose is also now procedural. So the animation team at Hell at Loose and Team 17 decided to watch loads of footage of how these weapons worked and then instigated that into the game. So when you fire an MP40, you'll see a replica kickback of what you would expect in real life. Um, it doesn't have, you know, these weird spray patterns or spread patterns. It isn't based on some strange FPS based mechanic that other games introduce. It is just a good and accurate visual representation of where your shots are going and how accurate it is. I can't state this enough, this is a massively good change and it's going to make gunplay feel punchy, impactful and so much better and you also get a rough idea of the new SFX of the MP40 as well, uh, which seemingly sounds a lot more toned down and, and more real I'd say. Do this. Um, and if Spono fires from the hip, you'll see that the way that the weapon recoils back and it's cumulative and it starts to build upon itself. Um, Every single weapon in the game has also been overhauled, a huge change, and they're also actually working with the soundscapes of weapons as well. So if you're in a town, the actual sound you hear from an MP40 firing will be different to the sound you hear when you're in woodland. So the keen monks ears among you will actually be able to differentiate where the bullets are coming from based on the reflection of sound that's happening. This also ties in with the dynamic mud, blood and weather effects that will happen on each individual weapon as well, and the sound effects overhaul that's coming to the game as well. A cool feature to note is that when your character moves around now, weapons will be reactive to the situations you're in. So if you're moving left to right, you'll notice a gentle sway left to right. If you're moving backwards or forwards, you'll notice your gun shift backwards and forwards when you make those initial movements. And the developers specifically state that they're trying to keep the solidity of Hell Let Loose's experience in gunplay, but also just make it look and feel more real. The devs also give us a quick insight into how the pistol SFX has changed. Again, I should note here, every single gun in this game has had a sound effects overhaul to bring it to a more realistic level, a huge lacking part of Hell Let Loose. And what's really cool about this is that you can actually hear the way the sound reflects off of the townscape around it. So once you fire, you get that really good reflection slash echo of the experience happening. And it's it's utterly insane. You just need to hear it yourself. You can hear some of the new pistol stuff. Um... So something, we, we need to go into this in far more detail, but a lot of our sand now has been completely reworked for all the firearms. As well. The machine gunner class has had its potential unlocked with a huge overhaul of how the mounting system in the game works. Now, when you press F to deploy your bipod, it will latch onto given surfaces even if you're moving your weapon in the process of doing so. And the second your bipod is deployed, you'll be able to fire. Much like the vaulting system, you won't have to look at a specific spot and hope that it works. It's one of those things that is a procedural animation that will latch onto any given surface, provided it's in range of the actual bipod itself. Much better improvement, makes it so much more reliable in the field, and actually gives machine gunners a bit of an indirect buff to make them more effective in most gameplay situations. We also got an insight onto the new overhauled MG42 weapon sounds. Again, as I quote, every single weapon has had a sound overhaul. But what's really cool is they've actually managed to animate the MG42 being separate from the bipod, whereas on the M1919 Browning, it's a fixed uh, placement. So on the MG42, when you move the weapon around, it will move independently of the bipod. So really, really detailed stuff that happened, um, and that was the case in World War II, is being brought forward to the game. So maybe just... Um... Yeah, there you go. Dump, dump this out for us. Fantastic. The hip fire mechanic for the MG42, as well as every single other weapon in the game, has had a full uh, actual weapon recoil pattern overhaul. So effectively, every single gun has its own specific pattern of recoil, as you would expect from a AAA shooter. Uh, what's really interesting as well is that they've actually listened to community feedback, and hip firing MG42s, as well as the Browning, will now be significantly more challenging, and it was something that was becoming a bit of a pain. 
Sniper scopes have also been completely redone with a now picture in picture display. This means that everything you see down your sight is an accurate reflection of how your gun is performing. So for example, the recoil kick, uh, where the tracers go, and also when you lean side to side, you'll notice that the scope shakes. Uh, this is a much better improvement from the previous system, which was effectively like an overlay system with like what was happening in the distance rather than an actual reflection of the physicality of the weapon and the scope. Uh, so you're really going to see here effectively a much more realistic variation of sniper scopes. Uh, it will also stop them being so ridiculously powerful because there's practically, you know, no scope sway or recoil whenever you fire the gun. Uh, so this is a nice change and something that I feel snipers will actually enjoy in the long run. A really nice change as well and something that I feel like is important mentioning because so many other games don't let me do this and it really bothers me is that you can actually stay scoped in after you fire the weapon on the sniper so you can see where your tracer and your round has hit if you're aiming short if you're aiming too high or too low you aren't forced to unscope so a really important change thank you so much to Black Matter and Team 17 for doing this because it really bothers me in every other sniper game. So that's about it for all the cool features that are coming in this upcoming update. Um, this doesn't include the fact that they haven't shown off third person animations which have been overhauled to the same quality and standard as the first person animations you've just witnessed. Uh, the full sound effects overlay of every single uh, weapon in the game has been completely redone. Uh, the soundscapes have been changed uh, and apparently there are other updates as well that we don't know about yet. Uh, likely I recommend there will probably be some new weaponry. Um, there is the new map of Carrington. So again, I, I really can't understate this is the best update this game has received and honestly this i would say this is what battlefield 5 should have been this is in my opinion once this update releases this will be the best world war 2 shooter on the market without a shadow or question of a doubt there is still room for improvement on things like vehicles and how logistics work in this game but ultimately, the actual shooter experience has been completely redone here. The investment into creating a whole new animation system, you know, this isn't just, you know, we've taken some animations and made them better. They've effectively implemented a whole new system. And to bring in things like Carrington, new weapons, soundscaping, um, this is the kind of stuff that creates the bread, butter, and bones of every single FPS game. And when you do it this well, you could expect something that's utterly insane. So if you're in the market for a new shooter, go and buy Hell at Loose. It's on sale as part of the Steam sale. You won't regret it. Uh, and, I, and I can't recommend this enough. It's not a hashtag ad. You know, I'm not being uh, paid or anything to promote this game. I just have so much confidence and faith in what they're doing over there. And I highly recommend it. More to come on this update. The next week, we're going to be seeing the sfx and third person animations this leads me to believe that hopefully we will see a mid-july launch for the update fingers crossed uh and i super super can't wait to get involved in it thank you guys so much for watching give me a subscribe if you're interested in more hell at loose and other hardcore shooters and catch me on a live stream at 6 30 p.m uk time monday to saturday as always folks thank you for watching and i'll see you in the next one